I was feeling a little bit lost in my mind. I wasn't feeling in a good place with what was going on with the whole coronavirus thing. I've been reading some books about the kind of happiness you can find in being present, doing those things which you really love. And said to myself, well, I'll just go to the sea, take my camera, get in there in the blue hour, float for an hour and photograph whatever happens. No objective apart from just be there be present, that was a whole kind of ideal, just trying to learn to be just in the moment. And yeah, just, just document what I see in front of me and leave. The reward is always there. No matter what has happened, I have started every single morning on a high. Get up, get in that wetsuit, you're kind of sore, you're a bit stiff, you're a bit tired. You know. As soon as you get in the sea, you're like, you're awake. And then you take these photos. And along the way, you're like, oh, there's a few nice things just happened. The power of photography is realised in time. You know, if you enjoy photography, then it's a pleasure to do. And then as time moves on, it's a pleasure to look back on as well. I mean, you put the photos on the computer and it's like this total anticipation so the excitement to see what I got by the time I've gone through them it's 7.30 in the morning and I've been buzzing and I've been in the sea I've connected with nature I've connected with creativity Everyone always knows when they feel something right, you know When I was a teenager, I quite clearly remember looking at 360 magazine, which was the local bodyboard magazine. I saw an advert and there was a water housing for sale. I vividly just remember that feeling. Just going, yeah, that'd be really cool to be a surf photographer. And I just had that warm feeling in my heart, which I still reckon today rings true. <laughs> and it never happened because I didn't believe probably in myself. I didn't believe I could do that. I've always said, oh, I gotta go and work for someone. I can't do my own thing. I remember my parents saying to me, you'll be in a safe bubble. You're not gonna lose anything. You're not really gonna gain anything. You're not really gonna grow. I'd been touching him with photography, doing little jobs, but doing all the other jobs to be safe, at least to make sure there was an income. My parents suggested coming back to Cornwall and giving photography a go. And I realized that, wow, okay, if you love something, Sounds like a cliche, but just kind of do it and things will work out. Dawn Day's a gun because I think the biggest one was my, my fascination with early starts because I'm kind of lazy. In April, I was getting up at like 9.30. You know, my dad gets up at 5 every morning. I was 
I was like, right, I've got to start getting up early. And I wasn't going to get up early for no reason. So then I created a little action plan. Again, to see and do the things I love, photography or creativity and connect with nature. I'm wanting to get closer and closer to those details in the sea that you don't see. You know, you can jump in the sea and surf and chat with your friends and whatever the sea does for you. But you don't really notice the details. It's a bit like a movie, but not this movement in a still frame. A friend said to me, wow, you're making such beautiful photos, which is a really nice thing for him to say. He's a good friend of mine and a really amazing photographer. And I said, I'm just there. The sea is doing these beautiful things. I'm just capturing what's happening kind of lesson to me is like, well, you can just be present and when you don't expect and you can just be there, you're much more awake to these things that are happening. Every single morning, I've been trying to share 10 photographs of what I saw that morning on Instagram. The main reason for Sharing the photos stemmed from April, when everything was still so raw, nobody knew what was going on. I noticed lots of people doing these really beautiful things to try and help people. You know, you really noticed people coming together and there was lots of compassion that was coming out of this kind of fear, you know, and I thought, well, what am I gonna do? What started as a personal pursuit just to help my mind quickly noticed that it was starting to rub off on other people. In fact, it just feels like it's been a spiral of positivity. Standing in an airport with my girlfriend, not knowing when I was going to see her next. Just a million and one emotions and feelings flying around me. And they all felt so real and so painful. Doing Dawn Days helped to me unravel myself and, and find some more direction creatively and more importantly, personally, being able to be more present. You know, people were calling me from London, uh, my pals from Australia, you know, New Zealand and it was giving people solace in other places. I wanna carry on doing this. Like, I wanna keep creating stuff that potentially helps people. Nick is one of my yes, biggest God. inspirations into <laughs> picking up a camera. When, up until the age of sort of 17, 18, I was in there all day, pretty much. And I guess life got in the way. There was just something that just said that I can't do it, you know? The mind is a strong, powerful thing, and, you know, self-confidence and 
self-belief, I guess. I was just fully inspired by this, and I thought, what better time to go in the sea when everyone else is in bed? It's one of the most challenging times of our lifetime, but I just seem a lot happier. It's getting in the water. It completely changed my mindset. For me, those two things more than anything, Mike and Warby, have made it worth it for me. You know? I'm already in a happier place, but then when you see how it touches other people, then that's the reward. And you start to think, well, okay, maybe there's something here. Kind of know inside there's something that you like in life you know whatever it is by doing just that doing what you love makes you happier makes you better and has the ability to touch other people which in turn makes them better and happier and then wow you've got some potential mad spiral of goodness by a simple act <laughs>